I was debating between doing your reading or not. But then, I was pre-shuffling, and bottom of the deck, my, 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 Sharona, the lovers. Okay. Scorpios don't play. <laughs> okay. Well, we don't, Sal. So you better bring it. I do. I do bring it. I bring it. Okay. I bring it. Now, this is a special read, of course. So we know that this is about concerning relationship, connection. Okay. Soulmate, twin flame, right? That's what it is. If we want to label the lover's card. Strong magnetic attraction. Okay. So let's see if you are dealing with an Aries, Taurus, okay, Gemini, Cancer, okay, Leo, and Virgo. So that's the first six. It's a special because it's your birthday. Okay. Let's see. Okay. You have Libra. Scorpio, Sag, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. So these are how we would define what will happen to that relationship or connection, you know. I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot of meaning. You know me. Okay. So that's that first. Okay. And for others, of course, who's here, lovely that you're here. Because I don't know if I still have a stock, okay, of our wealth attracting kit right here okay so for people who is not familiar i'm sal and i make magic as a norm if you breathe you work okay you do all those exercise and whatever that is normal you cook you eat magic is the same thing it's just a norm okay for me at least and that's what my goal is so i put it all together here later we're gonna discuss it we know how sal looked before he's always looking handsome but he wasn't this filthy Okay, Shireen. Okay, <laughs> well, I'm, I mean, like I'm doing well. Okay, <laughs> but I, am I gonna gatekeep what brought me more money? No. Okay, I share that, and I do magic a lot. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, you can call it miracles. Okay, manifestation. You can call it whatever you want. Okay, it's really just magic. <laughs> mm. So lovers, you wanna talk to them? You want to talk to them. <laughs> King of Cups. Okay? King of Cups. Okay, kayo mga nasa Pilipinas, malapit na. Okay? <laughs> Alam ko yung 12-12, importante ata yun sa Shopee. Sabi nung pinsan ko sa akin, kailangan mong habulin yun. Eh, marami lang ako inaasikaso dito sa Amerika. Naku, napaka celebrity, maraming inaasikaso sa... Kasi dito ko eh. Pero, ah, ayaan nyo. Malapit na. King of Cups. Okay. Ha. Huh. Solar return, the sun is in Scorpio, Mercury in Scorpio. Hmm, what does it mean for you? You know what it means for a Scorpio when you get this? If you know, you know. Meaning, uh, in life, you're in a perfect place, in a perfect time. And the wisdom, the knowledge, because the king of cups is you. First card is strongest, seven to eight cards, right? Uh, tarot. So if it comes out as you, then you're de there's something significant in this reading for you. Soulful, mental, uh, financial. But you'll pick up something here that brings the enlightenment okay, to whatever that you're going through. Yeah, cups. You're not scared to dive into your emotions or your feelings. You're empowered okay, by those. <laughs> so empowered. More like disastrous. Uh, I have read multiple um, uh, signs. They never got to me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Scorpio. So why are you laughing at us? I'm not. I'm laughing with you. Three of swords right here. Pain and suffering. Let's put it to the person. <laughs> so you good. You broke up with someone. Three of swords. Whatever sign it is. Aries, Taurus, Gemini. Okay, in those 12 signs, you will see, especially, whoo, if you are in a breakup. Three of Swords are breakup. I mean, clearly, right? It's a heartache. Mm. You have buried this already. Because you go, you got, yeah, it's like the makeover, Scorpio. Like, yeah, like, I don't know what you're talking about, Sal, because as far as like ex, I don't, like, ex who? Which one, Sal? <laughs> I love, I love. 
which one that is true for me also you know, it's like which one I, just, I, I, I have a star before right not we're relocating we're relocating when someone tells you your ex was here which one <laughs> I, I go by the zip code or the county, they tell me. Which county? <laughs> the lovers again! <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm scratching my nose, guys. The heater is underneath and it's cold. Mm. The heart wants what it wants. Bottom of the deck, I keep shuffling. I put it in the center. Inseparable. There was a reading I made, which I'm pretty sure they have uploaded that already. I hope so. I don't know in which order they do. But it's a very strong connection. Jupiter is in the seven, And this is a time that a Scorpio can get married, establish relationship with sweetness, to save any kind of connection also. Um, Mercury is in the first house, so contact and communication after the separation could be with a Gemini, right? We established that. Or another Scorpio. Um, you feel it, you know it. Like... You're sure about it, Scorpio. This is not this is not a connection that you probably will feel with anyone else. Uh -huh. um, this is not a connection that you would feel um, that even though you guys are separated, like they're there. Uh, they're there. Queen of Cups. You can only be heartbroken if you felt like this is the one. Dang! Scorpio! How do you get this? King and Queen of Cups. Okay? So this one doesn't matter about the sign. But we're talking about King and Queen. So if it's a connection, definitely divine. Uh, it doesn't focus. Okay? Definitely divine. And you had no, you have no clue right now what to do you may have okay this whoever here is a cross watcher you're in love with a scorpio admit it or not you're here for a reason scorpio's in love with you you guys had a fight falling out i think it's called right falling out okay i see you mm -hmm. okay let's see let's see death card this door right here it's red for a reason but it's very expensive for us to turn your house into something like this but it brings so much luck did you know that having a luxury car can improve your relationship but come on this is just way too expensive did you know that i have invested more than ten thousand dollars on these crystals to attract wealth but that is unreasonably expensive manifestation doesn't have to be that expensive so i made for you the 2025 abundance ritual energize kit these are the essentials that i use to get to where i'm at you can have your dream house your dream car a loving relationship and it's all in this kit so visit my website etreadlove.me if you want to change your life today and attract more wealth in the coming 2025 Scorpio season is lit. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, what's going on with my life? The death card. Well, things has changed. Okay. This relationship or this connection has brought enlightenment. You've never felt this way. Non stop thinking about them. Not in an obsessive way. I have a caring way. But they're hurt very much. Very hurt. Your person. Okay. You're trying to get over it. No contact. Ooh. No contact. And then temperance. Mm. There's a five pentacles here. They chose this right now. This is like this is a decision, this is a choice. But you are rushing. Knight of Swords. Very reactive. You're you're gonna tell me, Sal, just just tell me what I need, which talisman I need. Mercury retrograde in the first house. There's a talisman right there. I will tag it's called Mercury for Mercury retrograde. I don't advise it. 
only for people who says like, oh, well, I have an unfinished business house, so mind your own business, just give me the talisman, is right there for contact and communication. Mercury goes retrograde every, uh, for four times in a year. This is the last time. Not advisable, but I let that with you now. Okay, love me, hate me, but I don't advise it. Not unless you, this is a free will. Sa, mind your business, just give me the talisman. It's down there. <laughs> Not gonna stop in the way of a Scorpio when they're driven. Okay. Now, okay, there are obstacles in your connection. I see. We can work that out, probably. Okay. There's a feeling of despair. Okay. Now, for other Scorpio, because you have Venus in the second house. Okay. It's 11 degrees. It's, it's seriously probably for two more weeks or three. Okay. Perfect time for us to manifest wealth. Okay. Now, what kind of wealth are we talking about, Sal? Okay. You know where I come from. From a hallway. Okay. <laughs> and then now where I'm at. Okay. If you are aligning yourself for next year, for financial, like, say, I want the house, there's a talisman right here. Say, I want the car, there's talisman again. Protection also is here, good health, okay? You want the odds to be in your favor, okay? Money-wise, this one, you put it in your uh, wallet, okay? So everything for the past five years that has, you know, that you will see in my house, um, this is not real. The background is not real, guys. Oh, it's just a print. I'm kidding. <laughs> this is one of the house. <laughs> this is uh, this is a house stage, so that I have a shooting house. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. So here it is, guys. Okay. If you're manifesting any of those, especially Rahu is in the fourth house, land, real estate. Um, Rahu. Uh, sorry, Saturn in the fourth house. Rahu in the fifth house, business. Okay. Anything that. Um, I'm not advising it, but fifth house is stock market, trading, crypto, all those things is fifth house. So this, okay, perfect for that, aligning yourself to that one, okay? Anything that you are speculation involved, fifth house, because you want it, you know, artistic also, releasing of an album, writing a book, um, doing social media, okay? These are all the essentials. I mean, you know where I'm at, okay? I've done everything from e-commerce, um, to this side, or okay, I had my talk show before, all those things that I do. That's fifth house. That's creation. The talismans that I create, yes. Oh, it comes with the free talisman, guys. Okay. This is what everybody's been craving for, the red thread. Free shipping in the US. We ship to more than 90 countries across the globe. And for the first, the, the hundreds of people has already gotten it. I think we, sh we started shipping previous weeks. Okay. If it's still available, you can check it there. Uh, people ask me when is the best time, the time that you see it. No doubt about it. It's like asking, do I want money? Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> if someone says like tomorrow, we're not in the same vibration here. So maybe people are saying, it's asking, today's the day. No questions, no doubt. Okay. If you doubt, manifestation doesn't work. Like that alone defines you. Um, someone tells you, um, here, use this for man. I'm not sure. Yeah. Then you're really not in the frequency to attract it anyway. Does it make sense? This makes sense. Okay. When, okay, let me explain before I proceed. When the reader told me before, when I was in New York and I pulled out my retirement in my 401k, whatever, you know, that I have I had for working for a corporate company, okay, as a general manager in restaurant, um, they told me, it's like, this is the talisman. I didn't have no doubt or questions about it and that it has brought me, I put it underneath my register as soon as I opened my, my bakery in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Coins, money, sold out, sold out. 5 a.m. I opened my bakery at 7, gone, two hours. People are lining up. I never doubted the reader. I said, so give me. <laughs> Why am I going to shy away from my paycheck to paycheck? I can't afford a living, my living situation in New York. Mm. There you go now. So now it's my turn to give that, okay? So I'm very grateful to that reader, okay? Alam ko parang taga Tundu yun eh. Oo, oh, sa totoo lang. Bini, ano lang yun, uh, nirecommend lang sa akin ng pinsad ko. Tapos nagbabasa ako. Ayun, eto na. Timba-timba talaga yung swerte. Hindi na natapos. Parang ito. Hindi rin matatapos ang swerte mo. Mm, yan na. <laughs> Ikaw na sa alik. No, totoo. Mm -hmm. mm. Pero hindi ko siya kilala like personal. Okay, so here, coming back to the read. Um, I'm seeing here... Okay, Hermit, Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, Three of Wands, and the Three of Cups. Um, there is, of course, a connection. There is a relationship. There is that contact. I see it here. Okay. Ooh. 
But this is what destroys any relationship. As far as like if you're going to be with a Scorpio. They can't handle Seven of Swords if there's a secret. Or if they lie. I don't know. I don't know yet. Okay? May it be Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sag, Capricorn, Aquarius, Spices. That was the the thing that irks you. But they're here. There's a temperance and you're reactive. You're still looking for answer. Hermit right here. So I'm not sure out of all the 12 signs that you're dealing with, okay, how it's going to be. But considering that this is one of your greatest love or connection with the lover's card, okay, now we want to know, of course, what will happen? Oh, I wouldn't be this surprised. But that card right there says it all. Find out more. Link in the comments in the description box below for the extended reading. From Aries to Pisces, whoever you're dealing with, I will dig deep. I'll see you there.